um, Steve Rubin with Rubin Custom Homes. We've been in business for about 12 years, and uh, we've been doing a lot of work in Harbor Ridge for the past seven years. And um, we pretty much work from Boca Raton to Palm City is our geographic area. Remodeling, new construction is really what we do in residential. Uh, when it comes to remodeling, I know a lot of people are wondering what am I going to get the most bang for the buck? Um, how can I sell my house in a lot of cases? Um, where should I put my money? So I will tell you that you know, majority of the people is maintenance, I think is a big issue. I get called once to twice a week from the realtors that are here in Harbor Ridge saying that they have a potential client. And I would say 90% of the people that are here always have a big problem of it's never been maintained. Um, I don't know where to start. A lot of rotten wood on the exterior of the home, a lot of staining on the ceilings. Um, staining on the carpet, corner bead, drywall cracks throughout the house, mold smell. So they, it deters people from buying a home or what they're going to do is they're going to get the price lowered in order for them to think that they need to put four or $500,000 into their house to make a new home. So the first things I would say if you're interested is if in your selling or not selling is maintenance. One is the exterior of the home, such as irrigation, make sure that the irrigation is not hitting the side of your home, especially on wood framed houses. Um, replace any T111 um, with uh, either a hardy board or stucco. That would be one of the first things that I would do. Nobody really is into the maintenance of the T111 or the wood strips that go around windows. It rots very easily. I'd also redo every couple of years the perimeter caulking around all your windows and doors. The roof, I'd make sure that you don't have any holes in your soffits. One of the big, big problems that I see whenever I do an inspection of a home is rodents in the attic. Um, all because of trees touching the house, um, holes in the ridge line of your roof. Um, have just, you know, a home inspector go around, write up what's wrong, we fix it, or you can have, I think even Harbor Ridge has a maintenance company, they fix it. But those are the big, big issues that homeowners have when they get a home inspection done, and there's rats, there's all kinds of animals living in the attic and the insulation gets ruined and um, it's just not a an easy sell to a homeowner when it comes to the inside of a home i would say the popcorn is one of the biggest outdated items that people want to complain about make it smooth kind of like what these ceilings are um, smooth, you know, no texture. That's a very in thing right now. Even the walls. Um, if you do have any staining, you know, cut the, have a contractor cut the drywall out, replace the insulation if there's any mold, replace the drywall, and uh, that way there's not mold found during a home inspection. Mold, I would say, kills a lot of the sales here in Harbor Ridge. At least that's what the realtors tell me. Um, and that's maintenance. Thresholds at front entry doors or from the garage to the interior of the home, thresholds and weather stripping. You'd be surprised that just weather stripping and a good threshold will stop air from going out or lizards and little, little bugs from coming in. Um, make sure that all your sliders are adjusted properly. Uh, just again, maintenance is a big issue, I think, with Harbor Ridge. Some of the people have owned the houses for many, many years and they're caught, they want to sell now and they don't want to put a lot of money into their home. I would say that by putting a piece of granite on your kitchen existing cabinets is not going to help sell your home. That's just my personal opinion. All you're doing is putting a Band-Aid on the house. I would take out the cabinets if they're, you know, doors are missing or hinges are missing 
if there's poles missing, um, to put new appliances in, a nice backsplash, very much what's in right now is uh, the glass or brick pattern. Um, stainless steel, undermount sinks is very in. It's always been in, it's still in. Um, faucets are very industrial, com uh, contemporary looking now. People love it. Um, get rid of any soffits that you have that are keeping you from getting upper cabinets that are larger. Um, a lot of people like the pantries that are made out of cabinets. You get more storage, you get pullouts, you get rollouts. Um, and then also I would say a fresh coat of paint will help. Um, and then the other place where I would put your money is the master bathroom. I would say that those are the two biggest areas that people look at for resale. And you're gonna get your money back or you're just gonna have to lower the price of your home. At least that's what I've seen in Harbor Ridge. Um, when it comes to energy efficiency, a lot of people are using the upgraded air conditioner units that have two motors so that it, you save a lot on your electric bill. How the two motors work is once it hits a your stable temp temperature, your desired temperature, let's say you have your temperature set at 74 degrees, one of the motors will shut off and then the other motor will stay on using half the electric. Um, a lot of people like to use gas and they are from up north. Most people really use gas only, most people. And when they come down here, um, there's no gas. So if you're remodeling your kitchen, a lot of people will put a gas line. Um, and if you don't have a tank, because you need propane, there's no natural gas, I don't think, at Harbor Ridge. Um, so you have to drop a tank. I would do at least a 250 gallon tank, run a line for your cooking, and that will help the resell of your home, especially the kitchen with gas cooking. It's a nice feature. Um, windows, another and big investment, but I think you get your money back is to replace all your windows with, with impact rated windows. Not only, not only is there an energy efficiency to it, but there's a security feature to it. It, takes, it would take a long time and a lot of noise to break into a home that has impact windows and sliders and doors versus a house that has 25-year-old homes. Usually all you need is a screwdriver and pop it and it just you have full entry to your home. Um, and then also, you don't have to worry about once you're in that cone for a hurricane of hiring somebody to put up shutters. Um, any questions so far with anything I've been saying? Uh, whether or not you're trying to sell, whether or not you're thinking about doing any sort of renovations, even if you've already hired another contractor, I'm willing to talk to you. Yes. Good question. Uh, first, it should only be to our company. Um, but I will say that, you know, the first thing I will say is make sure that they're licensed. Um, I will tell you that there's a big, big problem in the state of Florida. I don't know about other states, but, you know, I could tell you even in Harbor Ridge, we'll bid a job. We notice that we don't get it. And I don't even know who, I've never recognized the guy before. He's on unmarked cars and uh, they, they don't pull permits and uh, but okay so the answer to your question would be licensed and insured it's both there's a reason for that one is the reason for the license is that he can pull a permit anything that you do electrical plumbing air conditioning or structural or roof or windows you need a permit on that house many people are told by Supposed and contractors are saying that I'm just going to remodel your bathroom and I do not need a permit. 
they are lying. And most of the time they get away with it if code enforcement doesn't drive by. But a lot of times they will get busted and they get a red tag on the front door and now you're delayed on your project because now you have to find another contractor to start this whole process over and usually a new contractor will charge you more to take over somebody else's job. The reason why you should get an insured contractor is because if anybody on that job gets hurt, they're going to come after the homeowner. That's the law, that's the legal right of that person that got hurt. They can come after your home, and if your home is not homesteaded, they can take your home if, it's, if they got hurt bad enough. So, you know, the reason why licensed contractor, you know, I, you're right, I can't keep up or money-wise versus an unlicensed contractor, but there's a way of knowing that you can sleep at night where if any of my electricians, my plumbers, they're all licensed, um, their insurance is gonna uh, cover up to a certain part, and then my insurance covers anything past that. A lot of times, we, we're the ones checking. You could have a licensed electrician, you contract with him, a month later you go to do the work, and he did not pay his monthly uh, premium, and now he's no longer insured. And he gets hurt on your job, falls off a ladder, and hires an attorney, and he could actually come after you, the homeowner. So the reason why you hire general contractors is so you can avoid that because really they're going to just, that electrician is going to come after me. Then after my $2 million, $3 million insurance is up, then you would be responsible. But no matter what, I'm responsible for the first few million. That's the reason why I have insurance. Um, when it comes to time frames, you want to make sure that the contractor is has enough manpower. A lot of the contractors work out of the back of their trucks. A lot of them don't have an office. A lot of them don't have a showroom. Um, you want to make sure that they're at least repable, that they've been around for a while. Ask some homeowners, you know, have you ever heard of this person? If they haven't, I would, li I would try, especially in these type of communities where um, people are older, people tend to um, get taken for granted. And you want to deal with somebody that's just straight to the point. They tell you it's going to be four months. You want it to be four months. Um, is there any legal recourse you can do after the four months, like a late charge for every day after? If you put it in their contract, then yes. But what will happen, when a homeowner comes to me and says, listen, you're telling me it's going to be three months to do my kitchen and my bathroom and my windows, and I tell them from the time I get the permit, that's when the time starts. If they ask me, well, if you're two weeks later, what kind of recourse can I have? I said, well, what happens if I'm finished two weeks early? You know, so we, we, I, I, we try not, at least I don't in my company go, well, for th every day that, I'm, uh, that I finish sooner, you're going to pay me extra. And for any day that I'm late, because that's not the way you start off a relationship. And most of the time, people that have relationships with their contractor, it, it's usually a very tight relationship because while you're building, you're getting emails, you're getting pictures, you're getting questions all the time during the construction phase, and you just want to know that this person's on the job every day. What we do is we try to send pictures. That helps, especially when you're doing a little bit bigger of a job. We'll send you pictures showing you that the drywall's done now and that the cabinets are in and that the countertops are in. We do that for two things. One is so that the homeowner can see the picture and that they can see what's going on. And two, if there's a draw, which is how we get paid in, in, you know, in, in, in draws as the job gets done, that you can see when, when the granite goes into your kitchen and bathrooms, we're supposed to get another 20%. Granite, I take pictures, the granite's in, we submit a draw, at least you know that you're paying me, the granite's in, and you can also see the color make sure it looks like the right granite that we were supposed to put in or the contractor, um, the cabinets are the right cabinets, and that the place looks pretty good because you can tell by the pictures. That's why we send pictures out every single week. 
So these are little things that you can have your contractor do, just especially if you're not around. If you're around, you can see what's going on day to day. Does that kind of answer, you know, the question of it should take two months, three months, and it doesn't, you know, hopefully you're dealing with this irreparable person and they got a good reputation of being on time. Some contractors have a good reputation, but they just take forever. So you, at least you know you, what you're getting yourself into. Um, some of these pictures that we have uh, that you're seeing are mostly Harbor Ridge homes. I think uh, one of them actually is uh, Mr. Barnard, which is sitting in the back there. Um, yeah, it's another house. So other than that, that's really up. Oh, got another question. We, okay, good, real good question. So we normally 99.9% .9 of the time worked on a fixed price. If your contractor is wanting to do a cost plus with you, not good. It's only in the favor of the contractor. The only reason, you know, when we go to contract, usually by then you've already selected certain things and we already know what the drywall, what the demo, what the roof's gonna cost. Um, what the plumber labor is going to cost, what the electrician is going to charge. The only thing we might not have at the time of contract is plumbing fixtures, countertop material, tile backsplash, uh, maybe a wood floor. But what we do is we, we build a relationship with the homeowner, and then we try to give you a realistic allowance. So that allowance, let's say on a whole house, we would give you... $10,000 for, and that covers all your toilets, your sinks, your faucets, your shower trims, your tub. If you go to a local um, plumbing store and it comes in at 8,200, then you just get a credit and you get all of our pricing. Again, a contractor that you're, that, that you're building relationship, hopefully you have a trust factor and that he's not marking up other line items. People that charge 15%, 17%, 18% for the whole job, which is what we do somewhere in that range, we give you all of our pricing, whether or not it's from Jetsons, whether or not it's from um, European cabinets, whether or not it's from European kitchen and baths, whether or not it's from Lowe's, whatever we're getting, and we're usually getting con contractors pricing. If you're buying a sale item, Usually, we're not getting any better of a price than you are. It was on sale, or if you're getting a closeout, we normally, you know, we can try to, with our flooring companies, get a better price, but if we don't, then that's the price, and you okay everything before we order anything anyway. So the answer is we usually do a, a, a um, we're at a percentage, we have a fixed contract, everything's labor, like the plumber, everything's fixed, the only th time that that's gonna change is if you change something. So if suddenly the electrician was supposed to put six lights in the living room, and when we do a walkthrough, you wanna add two more, then there'll be a, a change order for that. I can't hear you. Right. And you have to approve it. Right. So again, you know, people can come in and everything on your job is a change order because, you know, they came in low and for your renovation, it was going to be $62,000. And by the time you're done with the renovation, it's $110,000. You know, sometimes there's, a, you know, people just get in low and everything is not included. Um, we really try not to do that. The only time that there's a change order is, again, if we're doing a demo, and um, I think as a matter of fact on Mr. Barnard's house, I think dry, I mean the wallpaper, I think there was an issue with wallpaper. I think they had two layers of wallpaper. So we're taking off the one layer, and now there's another layer. 
and the other layer was very, very, it wasn't primed or glued properly, and it was literally taking the drywall off. And this was his entire home. Living room, kitchen, bathrooms, hallways, everything, dining room. So we send pictures, we tell them, I mean, there's no way of knowing something like that. Or when you open up a wall and you see termite damage. It happens a lot, we'll open the wall, we'll take pictures, we'll notify the homeowner, we'll let them know that we see termite damage. We would like a termite expert what, you know, to come out, make sure there's nothing living in that area. If there's nothing living and they give us the okay, then we'll replace the wood that was damaged and we'll just keep moving forward. But anything that's unforeseen, we try to be as fair to the customer as possible. But sometimes you just can't, you, you, just, you know, I've done these models a lot. I know where there's a hidden column. I know where there is usual damage. Whenever we're doing windows and doors, I know that the window bucks, which is what the windows are attached to, are wrong. I know that there's always going to be some sort of water intrusion because they're old windows and they've been leaking for years. So we have a little bit of extra money to account for that stuff. When it's completely bad and it's every single window, then it's a little different. But we try not to do the, 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 the change orders to customers. We, we try to be happy with the job that we got without adding and adding to it. Um, so answer to your question is we really like to do fixed. Change order, mean, I mean, uh, uh, a cost plus, as the gentleman was talking about, is really when whatever the bill is, I'm going to add my percentage to. So every time I go to Home Depot and buy a bag of screws, every time I get a two by four, every time I get a piece of drywall, anytime, even if I'm, I accounted for 30 sheets of drywall on your house and it really cost me 37, he's getting the change order for whatever costs are on that job. It's not really a good way of doing it. That's just my personal feeling. There may be other contractors that are very repable. They do cost plus and it's fine with them, but at least you know when we sign a contract, this is pretty much what it should cost you. On a cost plus, it's very, there's a big range that hasn't been finalized. Okay. Thank you so much. Hope it was uh, good and informative, and whatever I could do to help you in the future, um, let us know. Thank you, Steve. And now uh, from Home Design Center, which is also a, uh, my understanding is it's a soup to nuts um, contractor. Uh, Bianca is running up and